Hello, hello there. Sorry for the view. I'm a little bit cramped at the moment. This is the view from my apartment building, which is actually quite nice. Palm trees and, and a big garden, but there's also a few ugly big buildings around. Unfortunately, I can't uh, go out and about much at the moment to be in nature and make some interesting nature-based uh, Cambodia health fitness videos because it's been raining for five days non-stop. Right now it's just stopped about an hour ago. So I'll take that opportunity to, well, I'm sitting here on my terrace to make this short video to explain what's going on here in Cambodia right now in the south with the weather. And of course, talk about health, fitness, food, and happy, uh, healthy living. So right now it's been pretty bad. The weather has been really, really hard to deal with here in Kampot, in Kozi, in the whole south. Uh, coastal Cambodia, it's called. So from, from Kep all the way over to Kampot, down to Silukbril and the islands, rain, 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 like tropical rainstorms, night and day. So that's been a bit of a, a challenge, you know, because I, looked, I like to go outside and unfortunately, I could go to the gym, but the gyms aren't very uh, particularly what I like here. So uh, yeah, it's been a very, very difficult few days. And um, so the problem with that is that it doesn't help you physically or, or mentally because you, it, it, it gets you down. Anyway, I continue my work nevertheless, and I, as I'm a health coach, fitness trainer, food expert, nutritionist, and also writer. So I do, uh, I do a lot of writing about all those subjects, those are my core niche areas. And I inform people about health and how to get lose weight, how to what food is healthy, what isn't, how to, how to train properly so you protect your body and stay lean and strong. So um, yeah, you know, as you can see and as you know from my videos, I am lean and strong. Anyway, I posted something then in, in a few Facebook groups in Cambodia, local expat ones, or mainly expats, explaining my methods very simply and very clearly why you don't have to, 80% of your health and fitness and wellness depends on food. Ten, number one, number two, 10% of what your fitness, 10% of your training goes towards your health and another 10% of wellness supports your health. So the majority of what is important to live a healthy lifestyle and have, be, have a healthy body and mind, both to be physically, physically and mentally healthy, lean, strong and positive is eating the right food, real food. And that boils down to the keto carnivore diet, my friends. And that's the bottom line. So we eat all meats, eggs, fish, seafood, butter, coconut oil, um, a few vegetables, uh, herbs and spices are fine. And um, heavy cream because it's full of fat. So a lot of fat, meat, lots of protein and so on. And you can make a wonderful um, dishes with, or fr foods with this, you know, with omelets and, 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 and all the meats and seafood and fish and, 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 the, and the sauces I can make or whatnot. It's just great and you don't feel deprived about anything. So anyway, I posted this very, very informative post because I've been doing this for eight years. I'm a certified uh, trainer and nutritionist. And then I get these comments from these very, very, how should I say? sad um, and damaged expats who live in Phnom Penh calling me saying that before I teach others how to be fit and strong I should build some muscle myself uh, okay <laughs> so I said really I don't have any muscle I'm lean and hard as a rock I don't want to be like the rock, a bodybuilder. That's not the point. That's not how we are supposed to be. We're supposed to be strong, lean, and fit, and not like Arnold Schwarzenegger, because it's very unhealthy for your heart. It causes it causes um, overstresses the heart, causes causes cortisol, excess cortisol release, and then that leads to heart attacks and all kinds of heart problems. As we know, many professional athletes have died from over exercising, and Arnold Schwarzenegger himself has had three heart surgeries because his heart is buggered of all the crazy training he's done over his lifetime. So yeah, it's, it's unfortunate because you know, you're, 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 you're 
what I do is I do mostly for free. I obviously teach clients who want to be taught, and that, I charge for that. And I, I, I charge for my writing as well as a copywriter. Um, but I do a ton of content, including all these videos and, and, and my posts to help people, to educate them, to help them understand better about what they're doing to their bodies and how to become a healthier person if they want to, especially if, when you get older. You know, I'm, I'm 55 and I'm lean. I'm 70 kilos, the same as I was when I was 18 as a prof professional uh, Olympic skier. Uh, that, that's very unusual, un 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 unusual, not common. Most men of my age look far older than they are and have big bellies, beer bellies or and or saggy, you know, saggy skin and, and, and fat around the neck and, and chin. You know, and that's just not the case with me. You can see lean, fit and strong. You know, I'm, I'm just like a monster. There's just there's, there's no belly fat, nothing, you know? So you, it's just, it's really, really sad that you have to put up with these people who, who criticize your work and then talk down to you as if you don't know what you're talking about. Instead of actually looking at your history, looking at your background, Googling my name, you know, Googling my name, Rob Hormont, and thousands and thousands of links will pop up which shows you what I do and what I've achieved and how many times I've been published and how many times, you know, how, many, how many thousands of followers I have. So it's just, it's just a shame when someone like me, who was a very caring, gentle, kind person, gets attacked and people claim that I don't know what I'm talking about and I should do this and do that and shut my mouth and blah, 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 blah. Then I look up these people, right, on their profile on Facebook and this guy or two guys that made these comments Oh my God, I mean, both of them were my age or younger, big fat, saggy faces, horrible looking, like totally like, like almost drugged out, big saggy tits, beer bellies, and horrendous to look at, super unhealthy, super, super unhealthy. Those people have all kinds of illnesses and being on all kinds of meds, but they, they lecture me, a health expert. It's kind of depressing, you know? At times it makes me think, just let it be, give up. There's no point. There's no point in trying to help people because most people just don't care. And if they talk shit about you on top of it, what's the point? But that is not the way I'm going to go. And it's not an option. I do not give up, I never quit. I just keep on marching forward and do my thing because I'm doing the right thing by helping people. I've helped thousands of people over the last eight years, four or 500 myself personally, in person, coaching with my three month program and thousands more online with my blog and my YouTube channel and everything else I put out on, on social media. So, for all those of you out there who do not understand this message, you don't have to do what I'm uh, recommending. You can do your own thing. All I'm doing is ask, telling you, giving you some information about how you can lead a healthy lifestyle and live a longer life. It's as simple as that. So anyway, that's it my friends for today. I uh, hope the rain stops. I hope things uh, turn around here so I can get a little bit better because I'm a little bit down right now. But uh, after rain comes sun and happiness. All right, thank you very much. And we will talk to you later in the next video. Bye-bye.